Welcome to the fascinating world of History Unfolded, in which we will talk about planet Venus. Venus is the second planet from the Sun. It is a terrestrial planet and is the closest in mass and size to its orbital neighbor, Earth. Venus is notable for having the densest atmosphere of the terrestrial planets, composed mostly of carbon dioxide with a thick global sulfuric acid cloud cover. At the surface, it has a mean temperature of 464 degrees Celsius, 867 degrees Fahrenheit, and a pressure of 92 times that of Earth's at sea level. These extreme conditions compress carbon dioxide into a supercritical state close to Venus's surface. Internally, Venus has a core, mantle, and crust. Venus lacks an internal dynamo, and its weakly induced magnetosphere is caused by atmospheric interactions with the solar wind. Internal heat escapes through active volcanism, resulting in resurfacing instead of plate tectonics. It takes 224.7 Earth days for Venus to complete an orbit around the Sun, and a Venusian solar year is just under two Venusian days long. The orbits of Venus and Earth are the closest between any two solar system planets, approaching each other in synodic periods of 1.6 years. Venus and Earth have the lowest difference in gravitational potential of any pair of solar system planets. This allows Venus to be the most accessible destination and a useful gravity assist waypoint for interplanetary flights from Earth. Historically, Venus has been a common and important object for humans in both their cultures and astronomy. Orbiting inferiorly inside of Earth's orbit, it always appears close to the sun in Earth's sky as either a morning star or an evening star. While this is also true for Mercury, Venus appears more prominent since it is the third brightest object in Earth's sky after the moon and the sun. In 1961, Venus became the target of the first interplanetary flight, Venera 1, followed by many essential interplanetary firsts, such as the first soft landing on another planet by Venera 7 in 1970. These probes demonstrated the extreme surface conditions and insight that has informed predictions about global warming on Earth. This finding ended the theories and then popular science fiction about Venus being a habitable or inhabited planet. Earth and Venus have a near orbital resonance of 13 to 8 Earth orbits eight times for every 13 orbits of Venus. Therefore, they approach each other and reach inferior conjunctions in synodic periods of 584 days on average. The path that Venus makes in relation to Earth viewed geocentrically draws a pentagram over five synodic periods, shifting every period by 144 degrees. This pentagram of Venus is sometimes referred to as the petals of Venus due to the path's visual similarity to a flower. When Venus lies between Earth and the Sun in inferior conjunction, it makes the closest approach to Earth of any planet at an average distance of 41 million kilometers or 25 million miles. Because of the decreasing eccentricity of Earth's orbit, the minimum distances will become greater over tens of thousands of years. From the year 1 to 5,383, there are 526 approaches less than 40 million kilometers. Then there are none for about 60,158 years. While Venus approaches Earth the closest, Mercury is more often the closest to Earth of all planets. Venus has the lowest gravitational potential difference to Earth than any other planet, needing the lowest delta V to transfer between them. Stay tuned to History Unfolded for more interesting episodes.